today I'm here with my review of What's Your Number by Karen Bosnak. Now you may have heard of this book before without ever realising it as it was previously published as 20 Times Lady but when they brought out the film which stars Chris Evans and Anna Faris and they changed the title of the movie they decided to change the title of the book for them both to tie in together. Okay, so What's Your Number basically follows a girl called Delilah who works at a company I can't remember what the company's called, but I guess it's a bit like a Kath Kidson sort of thing. They design stuff for like your home and that. They're like a big, I guess, homeware brand or something. So Delilah's been working there for a while. And while at work, she's reading an article in Marie Claire. And it says that the average amount of men a woman will sleep with in her lifetime is 10.5. And Delilah is shocked by this number because her number is 19. And that is twice the average. So she slept with 19 men and she's scared so that day she makes a pact like a rule to herself that Mr 20 will be Mr right you know she doesn't want to go over the big 2-0 so when she meets Mr 20 he's going to be the one that she's hopefully going to marry settle down with maybe have kids with he is going to be the one now I can't remember exactly if it's that same day or if it's a couple of days later but her and friend Michelle get called into one of the like rooms in the big office block um, with a bunch of other people and Roger there who's the manager I guess he's like the manager you know you've got Elizabeth the CEO and then I guess Roger's sort of like your manager and you've got managers for different departments um so Roger's there and he sadly has to break the news to them all that they will be made redundant and they're going to be sacked the company can't afford to keep them they're gonna to have to cut a load of people and they're sadly the ones to go um so they then find out that anybody's been working for the company from a certain time period will get about ten thousand pounds pay um, Delilah finds out that she's made the cut for that but sadly her friend Michelle hasn't and will only get four hundred pounds which is like next week's pay so Delilah says come on we'll put our money together and we'll split it and that should both help us see our way through until we find another job which gives them about five and a half grand each so after that Delilah Michelle and their friends decide to go out for drinks and and think you know we're going to celebrate we're not going to go home and be upset crying because we've lost our jobs we're all going to go out and celebrate so while there delilah meets roger again and roger is a person that delilah doesn't like you hear from the get-go she does not like him she finds him disgusting repulsive he is a guy she will never get with or go near with but one thing leads to another that night after having a few too many drinks and she wakes up the next morning to find out she's in bed with roger and they've done the dirty and Delilah is shocked and upset with herself because she then comes to the realisation that she's reached the big 2-0. So due to that fact, she decides to go on the ultimate road trip through the past to meet her previous 20 lovers as she believes that she may have, um, you know, missed the love of her life without ever realising it, that she may have missed the one. So she goes on a road trip, you know, to meet all these guys and hopefully rekindle her love with one of them and she won't need to go over the big 2-0. So I absolutely love this book because I thought it was funny, quirky, you know, a different intake on romance. Um, I love the characters, the storyline. Um, I love that this book didn't revolve around sex or being anything passionate, you know. It was following Delilah on her quest for love. A lot of books are all about boy meets girl and are they going to get it on and when they do and it's you know, it's a load of passionate stuff and this wasn't and that's what I really enjoyed about it. So I'm only going to give this book three stars. Well, I think that's what I gave it on Goodreads anyway. Because, I mean, it wasn't the best book I'd ever read but it wasn't the worst. It was sort of in the middle. It was alright. So, I mean, it was good and I enjoyed it. It just wasn't as good as like Divergent, you know, the Hunger Games top series like that. But then I have read some books like which were for school and that which were worse. So, yeah, it was in the middle. It was all right for me. Um, this book is roughly around 380 pages. So it's not short, but not too big. Um, and this is the movie edition. So if you can't find this edition in your local bookstore or secondhand shop, then you may need to search for it under another name, which is 20 Times a Lady, which, like I said before, was what it was previously called. Um, so I hope you like this review. And with all of my reviews, I try to do them spoiler-free as possible because... 
I know what it's like to get spoilers. Um, two major books I've got spoiled with the endings and it's horrible. Um, so I hope you liked it um, and I gave you enough information based on the book. Um, so please comment down below on what you thought on this review and if there's any questions that you want answered on this book and that I didn't sadly answer in this review, then please let me know and I will get to them. And if you've got any video suggestions whatsoever, then please let me know. And they don't need to be book related. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.